Hi everyone, so this is lesson two of the uh, normal pack and we've done some working out probabilities using NCD and NPD so now we're going to do inverses which I can't actually remember doing on binomial but it's the same idea you kind of work out areas, you're giving areas and you take it back to the X values <coughs> got a frog in my throat <coughs> sorry so not fussed about crossways so it says on your CG50, um, you can choose the tails, which is nice. So I can have it as a left tail, a central, or a right hand tail. So I've got an example here, it says, it's got a random variable. So mu is 25, sigma squared is 4 squared, so sigma is 4, and I've got the probability that I want a value is 0 0.35. So in the middle is my 25. And that'll be the same for all of these, won't it? That 25 is my middle value. Now, because it's symmetric, 0 0.5 lies to the left of mu. So the probability that oh, the x, sorry, is less than mu is 0 0.5, if that makes any sense. Let's read what I wrote there. The x is less than mu, is 0 0.5. So I want something less than, and it's 0 0.35. It must be over here somewhere. There. So that there is worth 0 0.35. And I want this value here to go with it. So it's a left-hand tail, so I'm going to set it up. The area is 0 0.35. My sigma value is 4, and my mu value is 25, and I'm back to my calculator. So hopefully it's okay. So if I go to menu, and 2, and not that, exit, F5, F1, F3 for inverse. So I'm doing a left-hand tail. The area is 0 0.35, 35%, that's what I'm going to do. Sigma is 4, and mu is 25. Is there a draw option on this? Nah. We just get the value which is 23.4587. So 23.46 is my alpha value. 23.46. So then I've got this one. This next one. So think about this. So greater than, so I'm looking at a right hand tail. Now that's 0.8. So if that's bigger than a half, it must go past the mean. Because of the symmetry, there's a half on each side. So this value here is my alpha value, but I want this there, all that. That area is 0 0.8 there. Right, so the area is 0 0.8. Sigma is 4. And mu is 25. So stick that in your calculator with a right hand tail. Uh, exit. So right hand tail, 0.8, I think it was. 21.63. So 21.63 is my value. Right, now then, this one's a little bit more tricky because I don't know this unknown. And it's not like a central thing, but if I see it as, because it's between 12 and a value, is 0 0.2. So if I find out what the 12 is, I can add on the 0 0.2 to it. It's a really, really fat one. So the probability that x is less than 12, if you stick it in your calculator with a B, uh, sorry, an NCD, with a lower tail of minus 10,000, upper tail of 12, gives you 0 0.000577. Now what I'm saying is that this value here, alpha, that this part is 0 0.2, so the probability that x is less than alpha will be this plus 0 0.2, so 0 0.200577, and some of you might find that a little bit tough to get your head around. And now that's what I'm going to use, so my area, 0 0.2005.